Hey, welcome. Today we are going to take this little two-year-old colt, Chico, and hobble him for the first time. So we've been out here for probably 40 minutes working him and giving him a couple breaks, and so I think he's ready for this. And this is Richard, my intern. I'm going to have Richard do the work, and I'm just going to coach him once we get started here. I'll step behind the camera. Um, so Richard, the first thing I want you to do, which we've done with him before, is I want you to put the lead rope around each one of his legs and just gently and lead him from all four legs just a little bit. So this is kind of a review for him. Uh, it's probably been, I don't know, four or five days since we did this particular thing. So you're going to put it around his leg and get him to kind of follow you just a little bit. There you go. Okay. There you go. That should work. Again, we're not going to leave it on here very long. I just want him to hop around for about a minute or so, figure out he's not going to die. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that because when a horse loses his ability to run away, his instinct tells him that he's prey, that he can't get away from the predators. Okay, that's good enough. Let him stop a second and just think about it. I'd like him to just kind of settle and calm down just a bit. Let's see if he'll just settle and be okay. Okay, good. Now step in there and take it off. Good. Take it off, put it on the other leg. Not what your knee hit me, buddy. Stay, yeah, stay safe. Don't get in a place where you're going to get hurt. Stay out of his way. So, see, he's in a panic mode right there. And that's one reason we do this. He needs to figure out he's not going to die, although he did kick himself out of it. So, try to get it up there where he can't kick out of it. We don't want to teach him that if he kicks really, really hard, it'll go away. That's, that's the opposite of what we want to teach him. <laughs> we want to teach him just to give to it. Right. We want to teach him to just give to it and he's okay. All right, that should work. Except you've got yourself in a position where you can't send him to the left, can you? <laughs> okay. It's all right. I know this is the first time you've ever done it. Next time you'll think about that. Good. Good. That's pretty good. All right. Let him stop a second. Just let him think about it. Let him think about what's going on. Folks, this is really valuable stuff. Okay. We're getting into this horse's mind. We're not hurting him in any way. There's zero pain involved in here, but it is very stressful. And that's part of the whole thing. <laughs> he needs to be able to handle stress and realize he's not going to die if something happens that he doesn't know what to do. And if he'll look to us, we'll help him. Okay. All right, just let him, if he wants to do that, let him do it for a minute and see what happens. Most horses don't do that. Most of them don't lay down. Okay. 
Okay, why don't you flip the rope off the saddle horn and let him get up. Then we'll do it again. Okay, this time get him out here where you can send him to the left once you get his foot up. He's really being really good. He's handling this quite well. Um, okay. Okay, so now we're going to put the actual hobbles on his front legs and hobble his two front legs together. So these are cotton hobbles, they're real soft. Okay. The only thing that I, I, I should have instructed you not to do was to bend down in front of him there. Okay. And I, I, I miss that uh, because if a horse were to strike, we'd be having a funeral for you. Uh, obviously, this horse isn't that kind of a horse, but Mustangs definitely are. <laughs> so I should have instructed you to stand to the side. Okay, so he's kind of figured that out. You can just gently ask him to step forward, get out of his way to the side. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. And that's what most horses typically do. Okay. Now that's fine. If he doesn't want to move, he doesn't have to. Uh, I just want him to figure out that he's restricted there. Okay, see him licking his lips, which means he got really stressed out and now he's kind of calming down. So just drop that rope and walk away there, Richard. Okay. Um, now, I kind of hate it that he's up against the fence. The one thing that I would like to see him do, and uh, trade me places here and I'll just do it. Yes, um, the one thing I, I would like him to do is just yield his hindquarters both directions and keep his front feet still. Okay? Which would be easier if he weren't up against the fence. So I'm going to go on this side since he's got a little room to move his hip. So I'm going to give him the cue. I'm going to look at his hindquarters. He knows the cue. Ask him to step over. And he thinks that he can't do it, but he can. There. Nice. Nice. Stay out of his way. Yield those hindquarters. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now this side, I'm going to give him the cue to yield his hindquarters. Okay. And it's pretty typical for horses to, uh, to back up against a fence like that. They feel, I don't know why, I guess they just feel some kind of security if they've got something to lean on. Don't come across, don't come over on me. Be careful here. Okay. So he's just got to work through this puzzle. One of, and part of the puzzle is you don't jump on top of me. No matter how upset you are, I'm not the place you run over. Okay, there. Okay. So always be ready to protect yourself with that with that hand at the eye okay now i'm just asking him to step over real nice and easy good okay beautiful beautiful okay good so it was successful i mean we had a few bobbles along the way but i want you to think about this people say this oh here's fluffy my horse and he's just the kindest sweetest gentlest horse um 
and then they take him somewhere on a trail ride or to a play day or something and Fluffy loses his ever loving mind. Why? He was a nice sweet horse at home because they never put him under pressure and taught him how to handle pressure so when the pressure came he didn't know what to do. Okay? The, the, the owner had not taught the horse to handle pressure and that he would be okay. So that's a lot of what we do in training. We put a lot of pressure on these horses and we teach them, you're okay. Um, so see, he's okay. Now, did he like the lesson? No, but you know, I sat through how, I don't know how many years of algebra in school, didn't like a single day of it, but I suffered through it. <laughs> and I learned a few things. So there you go. <laughs>